right. Uh, I don't know why it's in such a small box, but I'm running the uh, Steam VR performance test. It's actually in Steam. You can download it for free. It's uh, like a about a five gigabyte file, just about four and a half, something like that. Uh, I'm not sure, like I said, why it's in such a small screen, but we're gonna let it run through anyway once at least. This is uh, supposedly putting your system through the test to see if it's you know, virtual reality ready. Uh, up there in the top left hand corner uh, right now it's at 52 frames per second. Just now jumped up to 73. Alright. Put it about 52 there. 50, yeah, 52 frames. Drop down to 48 there for a second. Now we're at 50. It should pop my specs up afterwards, but I'll, uh, if it doesn't, I'll link them in the description. Running at 55 FPS right now. Forty-eight, fifty-six. Uh, this is running in my uh, Acer that I unboxed uh, last week, uh, last Friday, the fourth, I think. All right, looks like it's not ready. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. It's the uh, Windows 7 Service Pack 1, which is green. CPU is the AMD FX8150 8-core, which is green. Uh, but it has a red on the GPU. It says the HD6900 series is not ready. Down here, it's got uh, average fidelity zero, parentheses low, frame test 5119, frames below 90 FPS 5119, 100%, frame CPU bound 1, 0%. So, uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, see in the results tab it says your system isn't compatible or sorry your system isn't capable of rendering low fidelity VR and it appears most likely to be GPU issue uh, we recommend upgrading your graphics card you can also try updating your graphics driver closing performance dash heavy applications and running this test again all right to do this just to see if it makes a difference there we go lowering the resolution from 3440 by 1440 to 1280 by 1024. Damn, that's big. Alright, let's see. I just want to see if it makes a difference. I mean, I doubt it will, but we'll see. It still puts in a little tiny ass box. At least you can kind of see the frames per second in the top corner now. 24, 27, 34. Alright, it's at 78 right now. 80. I mean, it is running a little. <laughs> it is running a little better. 
It's at 65 right now. 62. Well, you all can see it, I believe. Looks like. I mean, I can see it through the camera lens, so. I'm pretty sure it's going to fail again because, uh, like I said, the highest it reached was 80 frames. Where they're saying you need at least 90. Right now it's at 74. And I'm running uh, dual HD 69 52 gig cards. Uh, you have 1408 stream processors on each card. 810 megahertz GPU core on each one of them and I think 1250 megahertz on the memory yeah it's it's still gonna fail which I mean that's fine I don't plan on doing VR anyway As of right now, at least. All right, same uh, same result. Not ready, and it's GPU bound issue again. Alright, uh, this time I had more frames. <laughs> anyway, let me put this resolution back to reasonable. Alright, uh, let me uh, go into the store here. And to get to it, you just go up to the top here in your search box and just do uh, Steam VR. And it'll be the very first one. It's a Steam VR performance test. Like I said, it's free. Uh, let's see, it recommends Windows 7, Service Pack 1, Windows 8.1, or Windows 10. A i5 4590 or an AMD FX 8350, equivalent or greater, four gigabytes of memory, which I've got 32, so that's not an issue there. And it requires a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 970 or a AMD Radeon R9 290, equivalent or greater. So yeah, uh, okay, let's see, yeah, 216.2 hours on record, really guy, come on, truly one of the most important influential games of all time. Alright guys, uh, feel free to post your scores if you like. They're probably going to be better than mine. Alas, this computer was built in 2012. So, yay. Alright guys, have a good one.